Hello out there to all of my EDU 709 compadres. Uh, my name is Ben Tomke and today I needed to tie together uh, a lesson plan and Google Classroom and our projects together. When we first did our searching project I did mine on Google Classroom itself and setting that up and the uses for my individual classroom. When we got to the creating project I realized that Google Classroom really isn't a lesson plan, more so as it is a way to deliver lesson plans. And so what I've attempted to do is tie together a WebQuest, Google Classroom, uh, and those technology pieces together to satisfy all of the requirements and really make this a working demonstration of what's going to go on. The topic that I chose for my creating project was the Vietnam War. Uh, really two two really simple reasons for that number one that's what we're about to study in US history so I'm hoping that this stuff will be put to good use immediately in my classroom and number two on top of that you know the Vietnam War was really the first televised war in our nation's history and it just seems to me there's so many uh, technological resources videos audio things like that that are out there on the internet which I really think can can bring it to life more so than the wars that had been fought previously in our nation's history. Uh, so again, today what I'll be taking you through is how to set up Google Classroom, uh, a little bit about the WebQuest itself, and how these students would complete and turn in assignments on Google Classroom. Here is the main page. If you first logged in, you just signed up, this would be the main page of Google Classroom, the home page that you would see first. Uh, I am lucky that my school Bay City Central High School in Bay City, Michigan, and the Bay City Public Schools have Google accounts for all of the students. All the students have Gmail accounts and access to Google Docs and Google Drive. And so to me, setting up my classroom with Google Classroom really made a lot of sense as far as we can utilize those resources uh, and we can make materials available to the kids outside of the classroom rather than having them be dependent on us only during school hours. Another reason I'm sitting here in Michigan watching the snow pile up today, we're supposed to get, it sounds like 8 to 10 inches where I'm at, and again, this would be a way for the kids if we are out of school tomorrow, if they forgot something at school, it would be a way for them to access those materials and not fall behind in the classroom itself. So. Once we get into Google Classroom, the website's real easy up here, classroom.google.com. Uh, you log in, and as long as you have an EDU or a school registered email address, it's completely free. Once you get that taken care of, you would come here to this screen, and the first thing we'd have to do is create our class. And this is essentially uh, the section of the class that you are teaching. For me, this would be U.S. History 2. Uh, I have multiple sections of it, so this could be first hour right now. And we're just going to click Create. And there we go. We have a classroom. Um, you can set up. So I have U.S. History 2, and I have my first section of it. It kind of looks like 21 up here. But uh, you can create your themes. You can put photos back here in the background. I like the U.S. flag right off the bat for U.S. History, so that works. Um, if you wanted to take a tour of everything that you can do with Google Classroom, obviously this is a good place to start here. The first thing you would actually have to do, though, is to start adding students. Now, this is one thing that I am not capable of, of doing yet because I haven't actually set this up with my students, but there's two ways to do it. And the first one is if you have a school roster, if those things have been uploaded into Google, you can put the students into your separate classes yourself. You can go right down the list and, and drop them there. The other way to do that is to give the students this code right here and they can go through their Google accounts and sign up for your specific section for your specific class themselves. That would be taken care of. And you would just click invite and send this out to them and they would be in your class. Again, that's not something I'm capable of doing yet because we haven't gotten to that point. But once you have it set up, they'd be there, and you'd be back here to your class homepage. So the next thing as far as the lesson is that we would want to, to make the materials available to the kids. And so we click this red plus sign down here. Do we want to create a question, a poll for the students right on here? 
we can create an assignment we can create just a basic announcement all the different things that you can put here on the home page of your Google Classroom today we want to create an assignment and the title for this assignment today is going to be the Vietnam War web quest instructions are optional complete the attached assignment and submit via Google Classroom due date today is March 1st I mean if we were doing it today we could certainly make it March 2nd that works for me and right here you have different options of what you can can attach to this assignment itself we can attach a normal file from the computer we can attach a Google Drive file which is great it's seamless all of my stuff is already on Google Drive which is another reason why this makes a lot of sense for me we can embed a YouTube video or just an outside link so for me today I want to attach a Google Drive item and that is going to come out of the US history folder Vietnam War Vietnam War web quest and there it is we can see it's attached in Google Docs we can change the access for the students here students can view file students can edit the file or we can make a copy for each student I like doing this one because you know that somebody will start typing on your original if you share it with them so if we make a copy for each student they'll all have their own to submit back to you and it won't mess with your original and we want to assign that to the students now that that's done you can see it shows up here on the front page of Google Classroom the students would access it right through here each student will get a copy when they brought that up here's what they would see from the link and really this is a this would be used as a fact-finding web quest at kind of the start of our unit on the Vietnam War this is really not a whole lot more than a list of questions it's not a true web quest in the sense of the word um, but it's giving them an overview of what we're going to be looking at and some of the, the different people and things that are going on in the Vietnam War. We have the link for the website where they can find this information, which is here, PBS American Experience. They do a great job with a ton of different topics in American history. They have the different years and eras that they would be looking through, and they would read through. There's different links to pictures and other videos and things like that. And basically, they would just need to read through and navigate through this type it into their copy of this web quest and then once they are finished they would need to submit that back to me now because I don't have my students added in yet I don't have a way to show you that so what I have to do is take us to some sort of alternate universe here where I'm going to put a YouTube video inside of this video that I'm going to put on YouTube and this is a real short two minutes um, of how a student would turn in the assignment once they have finished through Google Classroom. I pulled up one of my classes that I have an assignment due in tomorrow. And here is the assignment here. So as a student, I can either click on the, set, the title of the assignment to open it, or I can click on this open button. When I do that, it goes into my assignment page and it will tell me the assignment details and give me some options. So my teacher has chosen to share a Google Doc with me and that's where I'm supposed to do my assignment. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open up this Google Doc and it will open up in Docs and I will be able to follow the directions and do the work as requested and I would be, you know, go ahead and answer all of the questions. When I am done, with this assignment. In order for it to um, show up as done on my teacher's dashboard, I have to use this turn in button. And this option is only available right now in documents that the teacher shares with you through Google Classroom. So when you see this turn in button, that means you have to use that in order to turn in that assignment so that it shows up as done on your teacher's dashboard. So I'm going to pretend like I'm done with this assignment. I'm going to click turn in and it will allow me to make sure I want to turn it in. I can leave my teacher a note here if I thought the assignment was hard, if I had a question or a comment, I could leave that here. Only the teacher would be able to see this comment. That's optional. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it in. So I will click turn in. And it will tell me that my assignment has been turned in and it will say done. And then on the teacher side, my assignment will show up in the done column for this particular assignment. 
So that's how you use Google Classroom to submit a document as an assignment. Okay, so that was a, again, a quick demonstration there of how to use Google Classroom in order to turn in an assignment. Uh, and going back to the classroom itself here, as she said, when things were turned in, it still says here, zero have done and zero have not done this assignment yet because we don't have any students. Uh, but when students started finishing it, they would start showing up here, one done, two done, three done. I could click on that and it will take me to show uh, to show me the students' individual works, which is really, a, you know, just really a great tool. So that is that. A uh, little intro, quick overview of Google Classroom and how it might work for you and yours. A uh, short overview of the Vietnam War web quest. Uh, but most importantly, I think this can save us a lot of time. It can save us a lot of hassle. And we can use things that we already have in our own classrooms and in our own Google Docs to really make hopefully our day-to-day -day lives easier and to make us more available for the students as well. Thanks. Have a great day.